I am orphan kids. Yeah. My name is Lucy. They're desperate for a good home. And here you are, desperate for children. We're gonna adopt one of us. That was your first kiss, I bet. I can teach you if you want. So we're watching you on the TV on Sunday night. And Mum said, the poor young guy, he's over here by himself. He probably just can't sneak out for a hamburger. And he looks like he might need a nice home-cooked meal. So, steak. so this is brought from my house last night. Mum says she hopes that you like that. Fabulous. Mum Thank you very much. Home really. Home oh, that does look brilliant. I wouldn't, I won't, no offence to you, I won't eat any of the greens. No, but that's right. the steak looks absolutely fabulous. So, um, I, I'll, I'll share the, the greens. Yeah, yeah, I'll it, share the greens. It's been sitting most of the day in the morning show lights, so I'm not sure exactly how <laughs> it, it smells. smells a bit like that too, <laughs> I might say. <laughs> well, I shouldn't should just pop it down. Yes, that's right. Now, before we do anything else, uh, when we sat down, you commented on this shirt. Now, what's good or bad or what? I just, I just like the fact there's a very subtle, you know, it's a subtle tone of a sort of floral thing going on, which is still a bit, S- little subtle, bit psychedelic and kind of cool. Subtle enough for you to buy this. I mean, I'll give it to you if you like. I think it's just so actually, a very, wardrobe. It, it, you actually do get away with it too, which is terrific. Yeah, and it works very really? well with that nice pinstripe jacket. Yeah. Well, you guys are ganging up on me. I don't know where this is going. Where is this going? Seriously, no. what do you mean it suits me? <laughs> hey, congratulations, gentlemen, uh, on the movie. December Boys versus Harry Potter, the catering truck. Tell me the differences. <laughs> um, weirdly enough, somebody said was the catering way better on Harry Potter, and I think actually it was probably slightly better on December Boys simply because they don't have to cater for as many people. You've grown up, I suppose, as the young boy on set. Now all of a sudden you've got hairy legs and you're a mentor. For the young guys, they <laughs> yeah. must have really looked Actually, up to you. Actually, they, they did. They did look up to me mainly because of my hairy legs. They yeah. were just thinking, my God, <laughs> if I, I can only dream of having legs as hairy as that. Um, no, they were... I didn't see myself as a mentor and I would never patronise them enough to give them advice because they've all got their head screwed on and they're all pretty, you know... And there were moments when, yeah, I think we... We both had to have, you know, times when there were times when we would, you know, have to chat with them and just say, "Look, guys, come on." I'd use him to say, you know, have time to have a chat, and yeah. uh, he he would do that. Because I couldn't be the bad guy, you see, because mm-hmm. I was I was sixteen, so they didn't see me as like the good bad cop, guy. bad cop. I exactly. Like it. Yeah. You guys work well together. I've experienced <laughs> that from the start already. <laughs> They're gonna choose which one of us they like best. Why would they want us? We're too old. Speak for yourself. We're not as old as you are. So those young boys now looking up to you, obviously. Uh, adolescence for you, different from any other kid in the world. As you look back now, as you go through those years, say 10, 12, 13, 14, what was it like? What was normal for you? I mean, obviously it was different for me because I was on a film set, but if anything, that was a great positive. It got sure. me out of school, it got me out of all that stuff that I really didn't like. And it was just, and I, and I met some amazing people through it. So while it may not have been, you know, everyone's experience of adolescence, of course it's not. What do you like most about you? About me? About you. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, I, uh, I've really got it, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question, by the way. It's a good question. I've never been asked that before. Well, if it's Um, so good, you could probably answer it. I I, I think probably my nose. I'm pleased with my nose. (laughs) I'm pleased. It's it's the only part of my face I really like. I think it's it's a good nose. It's not too big, not too small. It's got a little kink in it, which is kind of endearing, I think. I think. (laughs) Have you noticed your pecs on the poster, by the way? I know, we've had the nipples taken out. (laughs) But that's another good part that you should (laughs) have Now, I read somewhere that you would give all of this up for poetry, is that right? I, I'm obsessive. All right, I'm going to hand poetry. you that to, you can have a little look at that. It's for my co-host Kylie. If you care to read it, you can. All right, what do you think? It's, I mean, the, the meter is all over the place. I yes. mean, it's, it's, I don't, I mean, the rhyming is, is, is you know, it's Lackluster. good. No, the rhyming's fine. I mean, it's a little bit rhyming, dictionary rhyming. Well, no, I'll read the last fork. Gorgeous Kylie, 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 always smiley, smiley, smiley. Cheered me up when I was glum but old enough to be my mum. God, that's extraordinary stuff. That was it's beautiful. Brilliant. See, I mean, that's, that's been kids. me out. That's that's awesome. Thank you very much. Really Thank you very much. Enjoy the meal. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you guys. Congratulations Thank on the movie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>